Hey guys, welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to cover Terraform workspaces. So workspaces are basically a way to isolate multiple state files within the same directory. Uh, many people use it to basically write code once and deploy it to multiple environments. But I would actually not suggest doing that because uh, workspaces have their own drawbacks. But they're good for testing purposes. And that's what we are going to cover in this video, right? So when you don't have any workspace, the workspace which is created for you by Terraform is called default workspace. So you can look at it by doing Terraform workspace list. So if you list out all the workspaces, this basically lists out all the work, you can see you only have one workspace which is default, right? So now what we can do, <coughs> we can, or uh, rather than before creating a workspace, I have, I think, uh, a main.tf file over here, yeah. So in this, what I'm doing, I'm basically creating a workspace example bucket, right? So to isolate, to say for I want to isolate my state files for different environments, say maybe dev, staging and prod, right? So what I can do is I can actually create uh, <coughs> three workspaces or rather for this example, I'll just create two. So Terraform workspace new is the command to create a new workspace and the name of the workspace. So I would say I would first create an STG workspace. So you can see it creates the workspace and it also switches you to that workspace, right? And then I'm going to create a PRD workspace, right? So now we have three workspaces. So if you again do the Terraform workspace list, so you can see we have three workspaces and we are on the prod uh, uh, workspace, right? In order to basically move from one, space, one workspace to another, uh, you can do Terraform workspace uh, select, yeah select and say I want to go back to default so I'll just give it the name default and I'm switched back to the default workspace all right so now how do I use this to create uh, basically different infrastructure for different environments right so when you work with workspace you get a variable which is called terraform dot workspace Right, so you get this variable and this is set to the current workspace. So if my current workspace is default, so this variable will have value as default. Right, so that's how this variable works and that's how people use it to basically, because when they create variables, right, so they would do an if in the variable and say that if terraform.workspace is equal to say PRD, then choose this, set the value of variable say, something x and if the terraform dot variable is uh, staging set the variable of uh, set the value of variable as y right and let's use it in our main.tf so what i can do is uh, let's go into a main.tf file and here i'm actually creating a bucket name workspace example bucket so what i'm going to do i'm going to suffix this with uh, So you actually use the dollar notation when you are working with this variable. So terraform, terraform dot workspace, right? So now I'll have, if I create this bucket in different workspaces, uh, we would have the suffix as the workspace name, right? Now let's save this. And currently I'm in my default uh, workspace, just to be sure. Terraform workspace. I think show is also one command. I'm not sure. Let's see. Yeah, Terraform workspace show is which shows you the current workspace. All right, so I'm in default workspace. So now let's do Terraform plan. So I'll probably not do the apply because I think with plan you get the bucket name and you can see it is setting the bucket name as workspace example bucket hyphen default because I'm in my current uh, default workspace. Let me clear the screen. 
Now I just move will move to Terraform workspace uh, select PRD and let's run Terraform plan again. So you can see Terraform example bucket hyphen PRD and same thing will happen if I go to my staging workspace. So that's how basically you, you use this uh, workspace concept to deploy the same code in multiple environments. But I, like I said, it has a drawback that uh, first drawback basically is or first or the, or the most important drawback is that uh, when you have a remote backend for your state files, right? So you cannot create uh, different locations for your uh, state files. It will all the state files will go into the same uh, key in the S3 bucket, right? So that's one. But but if you say you are using module, right? So you can actually create different uh, backend uh, code for uh, in the module definition. So when when we'll cover module, I'll show you what I mean. But that's one drawback with workspace that you don't actually get that flexibility. And the second being. Uh, it is like, I mean, not very generic to happen, but human error. I mean, there are chances that you forget to basically switch to a specific workspace, right? And then do a plan or apply to a wrong workspace. So that's another drawback this has, uh, this workspace concept have. But it is good for testing purposes. I mean, you can use this uh, in your local environment when you're testing something. So it's good for that. All right, so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, uh, workspaces, which I wanted to cover. Uh, if you have any questions related to workspaces, please do put it in the comment and I'll be happy to answer. And I hope you guys like this video. Please do subscribe to the channel before leaving and thank you for watching.